Why do I have a cup in my hand? I'll tell you why I've got a cup in my hand. I'm going to do a live draw. Well, I say a live draw. It's not really live. I guess it's you're watching it the very next day. However, inside the cup of plenty, it's not much plenty. There are three names in there. Can you hear it? There you go. Just for clarity, purposes of clarity. I'm going to pull one out of there. This is, oh, you don't know what it's for, do you? Tickets for Rapid Vienna. For Basically, we run a patron competition. Tickets to Rapid Vienna. What's that say? John, John, you've won, my friend. You have won two tickets to see um, West Ham v Rapid Vienna. John Newman. And just for purposes of clarity, so John, you've won. There were two other. It's just so as you know, it's not three Johns in there. We've also got a John. No, I'm only joking. James and uh, you didn't win James, sorry I'm just showing you and Pete, sorry James and Pete you didn't win John Newman did, well done mate two tickets to Rapid Vienna against, I don't know why I did that uh, anyway, that's that so the match is on tonight, thank you very much everybody for indulging me yesterday, I, I thought I'd put that video up, I thought oh this could be a terrible video, just me moaning about Neymar I thought everyone's going to say, Gonzo it's rubbish stop talking about this stuff, just talk about West Ham I was really surprised everyone was saying, I go, yeah, you're right, I hate cheating as well, and I hate Neymar, and Grealish is just as bad, and, and every, you know, so I thank you very much for uh, for indulging me on that. I was a bit grumpy, wasn't I? But today's a very, very different, um, uh, well, today is a different day, because every day is a different day, but today is not a moment about Neymar. Today is match day, West Ham match day, and those tickets that uh, John, as John Newman is going to, is tonight. Now, really big night for us tonight. I think the next two games are massive. As I said to Gio, it's game on. And what game on means, he said to me, what's that mean? What are you, what are you talking about? I'll tell you what game on means. I think it's a pivotal part of the season. I think if we beat Brentford, then it really shows real intent in the league. I think we can look at the one loss, which was very, very close to being a draw with the Man United game. And we can actually look at it and think, well, we've started tremendously well. We can then look at the, the fact that we're still in the League Cup by beating Manchester United. And then if we win this game as well, we've played two games in Europe and we'll have six points. Now, I know I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here. We could lose tonight's game and, and it's really tonight's game is what, I'm, what I want to focus on. But I just mean I do think it would show serious intent to have six points and be probably have six points on the table in the group stage in Europe and probably in and amongst the top four in the league if we win. I think that would show serious intent, and we would absolutely be able to put to bed that stuff about Europe hindering us. It may well do in the long run, but it ain't going to hinder us to the extent that we, we were worried about, or some of us were worried. If you look at the comments at the start of the season, some of them were saying, you know, we might get relegated this season and stuff like that, and it, it would just show how far we've, we've come in that respect. In terms of the team, I... Um, I want us to take it very, very seriously. Declan Rice has made some really nice comments, which I'll go into in a second. But I, I want to talk. Uh, be, be, I want to talk more pertinently about the team for Rapid Vienna tonight. Although I do think Declan Rice will be a part of it. I think Declan Rice already knows he's playing in this game. Otherwise, he just wouldn't be speaking like that ahead of this game, probably. Um, but I'd like to speak about Nikola Vlasic, uh, Vlasic, if I may, just beforehand, because I think it's a really, really big game for him. And I'm I'm relaxed about how he'll perform at West Ham. Not a problem at all. However, this I think, think this is a really, really good game for him to get a little bit of confidence. I think he may be taking a little while to acclimatise to the Premier League. Not only the pace at which the Premier League is played at, but the pace at which we play in the Premier League. Now, we've all been praising West Ham's fitness over the last, whatever, over the last little while. And whilst it's accurate and right that we praise the fitness, it also means that we're really, really fit. And all the players that have you know, done either pre-season or, or at least been there a little while, they're going to be more or less up to speed. Whereas Vlasic is unlikely to be as fit as David Moyes wants him to be. I, this is a reason for getting your business done early in the transfer window, by the way. I, if we'd have signed him as soon as the transfer window opened, he 
probably would be match ready by now and, and match fit. But anyway, that, that's that's fine. That's that's by the by. That's just how it was done. I think we all understand that we were, Moyes was probably waiting around to see if he could sign Lingard, couldn't sign Lingard. Flasic was probably his, his second choice. Doesn't mean he's a bad player, but he's going to need to acclimatise to the Premier League. But one place he doesn't need to acclimatise to is European football because he's played plenty of that. And I would, I, I would think this is going to be played in a similar vein. Now, don't get me wrong. We'll still press and try and play with a tempo. But I don't think we'll play in the same way as we do in the Premier League because I don't think we played in Zagreb in the same way that we played in the Premier League. I felt, and I've mentioned this a few times now, that we took breathers. We managed a game. We controlled the game. Not like Neymar and PSG managed a game, but we managed a game... In a wholesome West Ham type way. Um, you wait, we're going to get a dive tonight, and I'll be, I'll be, uh, I'll be eating my hat, uh, my words. I'll be eating some. I'll, whatever happens, I'll be eating something tonight. That, that's that's for sure. But I, I just think Vlasic, this is the perfect opportunity for him to be able to acclimatise, for him to be able to to get himself a goal and get some confidence because the pace of the opposition will probably be a little bit down. The irony, a team called Rapids, who are probably going to be playing slightly slower than teams we're used to playing against. Um, I'd like to see him start. I, mean, I mentioned to Gio, I wouldn't mind him starting up front. Realistically, I, I don't mind. I would agree with the assertion that Bowen is our second backup forward until we buy a forward proper. But come on, I mean, he's got to have a rest now, isn't he? I mean, he's, he deserves one, he's earned one. He's got to be cream crackered, he really does. And I, as I said, I think that's a really good big game against Brentford. I think we need our first choice 11 out against Brentford. And I, there's just one player I think we couldn't afford to rest. So it's not wholesale changes. This is just taking into account we're playing at home. We're... I think it's fair to say over the last 18 months or more, we've been one of the better teams in the Premier League. And you would hope that one of the better teams in the Premier League could be an out-of-form Austrian team who are, who are one off the bottom of their league. Now, one off the bottom of their league is not going to be totally representative because clearly they're a better team than that, otherwise they wouldn't have qualified for Europe last season. But you get what I'm saying. I, I think we're probably going to be able to play four or five of our first team players in there and then a smattering of, of other guys who are not first team starters but people like Diop, people like Lanzini, people like Fredericks who are still bloody good players. So um, wherever Vlasic plays, it, it doesn't matter. The reason I sit up front was I do think Bowen will be one of the guys I'm resting for this one, as you may have noticed from the preview alongside uh, Thomas Suchek. Be nice to see Kral again. Looking forward to seeing a little bit more of him. Um, and I want to see him involved. I was, well, I was a bit disappointed in playing the first European game, and he'll be disappointed as well. We got to see the first real proper, um, full look at him in the game against Man United in the League Cup. However, what I said about Flasic may well be true of Crown, which he just might not have been up to speed. And let's be fair, they both come from the Russian league. I don't know anything about it at all, but. Maybe it's just not played at that pace. I don't know. I also know there's some sort of discrepancy with what time the season starts over there and stuff like that. There could be all, all types of mitigating factors, but it may just be as simple as they're just not fitting up to speed yet. This is fine. If they've got as long as they've got runners around them, this will be absolutely fine. And one of those runners will hopefully be Frederick. So he's recovered from his knock by falling in the trench around the Old Trafford pitch. Um, that wasn't a dive, by the way. He didn't dive. He actually fell in a proper crevasse. Precipice, cavernous trench. I don't know. He, he didn't. He didn't faint it. But anyway, he was playing so well at the point where he had to be um, taken off. I want to see him get another run. I want to see him do well and get some confidence. And if you've got other players like that doing the running, then then it should really be a good evening. Hopefully, uh, well, listen. What, I'm, I'm almost confident. Whatever David Moyes has got up his sleeve. I'm sort of with that, you know, I don't I don't mind. Whatever he's going to do, I'm sort of quite confident that it will work out. I'm pretty damn sure that um, Rapid Vienna are not going to rock up and be a surprise to David Moyes. He's, he's had 18, yeah, between 18 months and two years now to get his uh, get his scouting in into effect. And I don't mean the scouting for players that we want to sign, I mean the opposition scouting. I, I doubt there's very little 
that he doesn't know about. Um, they'll be very little he doesn't know about Rapid Vienna. That's for sure. They'll they have been watched. They'll know who their best players are. Certainly a lot, a lot better than I will. Um, so anyway, there you go. That's that's on later on tonight. Just join myself and Gio an hour and five minutes before kickoff over on the main channel where we will be announcing the lineup, the, the much heralded lineup. We'll be trying to work out um, what the players are in the Rapid Vienna team. Um, we'll probably be working out a little bet as well and trying to think of something. Uh, as, as a catchphrase, that's that's uh, that's probably as a as a sort of little sprinkling of innuendo about it. Anyway, um, right. Well, enjoy your day. I will catch up with you later. Exciting! I, I love I love this Europe European football Thursdays. I like Thursdays at the moment.